Admit it, whoever you are, wherever you are and whatever car you currently drive, a dream of owning a sports car is deeply embedded into your mind. Today we'll tease this dreamer inside of your head with a dozen of all-new models for 2023. We have got stunning coupes, majestic caprios and one of the hottest hot hatches recently built. So subscribe to Automotive Territory to get an informative fix of car news on a regular basis. Enjoy the ride! Porsche 911 Sport Classic This classy-looking 911 is one of four exclusive new Porsches that belong to the company's heritage design strategy. Limited to 1,250 units, the model adopts early 1970s styling and has wide-body design that is usually reserved for the brand's turbo sports cars. The Sport Classic is also distinguished by a double-bubble roof, a fixed rear spoiler inspired by the 1972 911 Carrera RS 2.7, and a unique sport grey metallic paintwork option. The suspension tech is borrowed from the current generation GTS, so it gets sport springs, 0.4 inches lower height, and standard Porsche active suspension management. The 3.8 liter twin turbo flat 6 returns 550 HP and comes paired with a 7 speed manual transmission making the Sport Classic the most powerful manual 911 yet. Rear-wheel drive is standard for the model, and same is true for a sports exhaust and carbon ceramic brakes. Lastly, the cabin is wrapped in black cognac leather with a conic pepita pattern on the seat centers. Lotus Emira GT4 The first new model delivered under the guidance of Lotus Advanced Performance Arm marks the start of the new GT racing era for the company. The GT4 class version of the Emira carries the same 3.5 liter supercharged Toyota V6 engine that pumps out 400 horsepower. However, in comparison with the road legal Emira, the GT4's powertrain gets specific Motec engine management, a dry sump oil system, and an X-Track 6-speed sequential gearbox with pedal shift actuation. Even more racing prowess is hidden under the skin, as the Emira GT4 gets a double wishbone suspension with the two-way adjustable Allen's dampers and anti-roll bars. Lotus claims that the braking power is competition spec, and it is boosted by an adjustable motorsport-grade ABS from Bosch. Expectedly, to fit a roll cage and other FIA-compliant safety equipment, the interior was largely stripped off. Audi RS5 Coupe In 2023, Audi's most potent sports car aims to close the gap with the all-new BMW M4 by the introduction of a competition package that makes the car more aggressive, faster, louder and lower. Audi's twin-turbo 2.9-liter V6 produces the same 444 horsepower and 442 pound-feet, but the 8-speed transmission now has faster shifts and the limiter is set to 180 miles per hour, which is a 6 mph increase over the previous Dynamic Plus package. By ditching 18 pounds of sound insulation and acquiring a new RS Sport exhaust system with the matte black tailpipes, the competition pack provides a more intense sound pattern. The RS5 Coupe gets a stiffer adjustable coilover suspension that brings the car 0.8 inches closer to the ground. Plus, Audi offers 20-inch wheels wearing Pirelli P0 Corsa tires. Lastly, the interior sports Pearl, Napa and Dynamica front seats, Alcantara finish with contrasting red stitching and matte RS carbon inlays. Smashing the like button is the easiest way to thank us for this video. We'll greatly appreciate it. See you on the other side of this episode in the comment section below. Let's proceed. BMW M8 Competition Coupe BMW has been recently returning to the concept of a radically unique and controversial front fascias for every single model. Luckily, at least for now, the M8 facelift avoided this fate, 
and mostly focused on refining the interior and adding some exterior tweaks. The car gets 8 new body colors, fresh 20-inch light alloy wheels and a standard CFRP roof. Optionally, customers can order an M-Carbon exterior package and bring more carbon elements. Since the 2022 model year marks the 50th anniversary of the M brand, the coupe also offers special 1970s badges up front, in the rear and on the wheel hubs. The M8 competition gets an M compound brake system as standard, while the M carbon ceramic brakes with gold calipers are an option. Outstanding performance is a courtesy of a 4.4-liter V8 engine with the M21 power turbo technology, 625 horses, M X Drive intelligent all-wheel drive, and an 8-speed Steptronic with drive logic. Lastly, the scoop features M Sport seats with memory, merino leather upholstery, plus an optimized 12.3 inches control display. Evo Max Max 11 Targa The Stuttgart-based Evo Max continues to expand its fleet of classic Porsche 911 Resto mods and adds a new Targa version of the 964 generation. The recipe remains unchanged. The original bodywork is recreated in carbon fiber and Kevlar, the brakes are upgraded, and the suspension is enhanced with fully adjustable coilovers. In order to further decrease weight, each Max 11 Targa is given a lightweight titanium exhaust system as standard. The fun on the road is ensured by a 3.8-liter naturally aspirated flat 6 paired to the 6-speed manual transmission from a 997-gen cup car, which delivers 460 horsepower. Optionally, the company can fit the Targa with a 3.6-liter turbocharged flat 6 borrowed from the 996-generation turbo. With a few Evo Max tricks, the flat 6 beast pumps out 620 ponies at 6500 rpm. BMW M4 CSL BMW's M Division is celebrating its 50th anniversary with a 1,000-unit limited-edition M4 that pays homage to the 1972 BMW 3.0 CSL, the very first racing project of the brand. Coupe, sport and lightweight, these are the key concepts of the newcomer that becomes the fastest series production BMW at Nürburgring's Nordschleife with a 7 minutes and 20.2 seconds lap time. The exterior design maximizes cooling ability and downforce generation. Plus, wherever possible, weight-saving components were installed. The 3,640 pounds curb weight was achieved through the use of a carbon fiber roof, hood and trunk lid, titanium silencer, forged light alloy wheels, carbon ceramic brakes and carbon bucket seats. The BMW M4 CSL gets the most powerful version of the 3-liter inline 6-cylinder twin-power turbo from the M4 competition and increases its output to 543 HP and 479 pound-feet. This increase results in a 3.6 seconds 0 to 60 and 191 miles per hour top speed. Mercedes AMG SL43. Unlike the previous generation of the SL sports car, its new 7th iteration arrives exclusively as an AMG model and the SL43 is revealed as the entry-level version. It has a similar look to the V8-powered SLs, with the only subtle tweaks showing on the front fascia and rounded tailpipes. The grille hides horizontal loofers for the active air control and there is a retractable rear diffuser. The wheels measure from 19 to 21 inches in diameter and the car gets a foldable fabric top. With the SL43, Mercedes opts for using a 2-liter four-cylinder engine paired to the mild hybrid technology. The Smil debuts the Formula 1-derived electric turbocharging that brings its output to 381 horses and 354 pound-feet while eliminating lag and improving responsiveness. The peak torque is available from 3,250 to 5,000 rpm, so you get a diesel-like performance. Plus, the 48-volt starter generator adds 14 extra horses when needed.
Brabus A20 Porsche 911. Instead of bringing to the Brabus crowd yet another Mercedes, the German tuning company decided to work on an entirely different model and converted the latest 911 Turbo S Cabrio. As you would expect it from Brabus, modifications started with the exterior. The bodywork was enhanced with the new aerodynamic elements from carbon fiber, the stock wheels were swapped for mismatched 21-inch front and 21-inch rear platinum edition forged rims, and the Brabus badges were installed all around. As its name suggests, the Caprio returns 820 horses and has supercar-like performance parameters. Acceleration to 60 takes 2.5 seconds, and the top speed reaches 211 miles per hour. These figures are made possible by the car's boosted 3.8-liter twin-turbo flat six, paired to the responsive 8-speed DCT with manual and automatic modes and a rear-biased all-wheel drive. The A20 also gets an improved sport suspension, adjusting height by an inch, in canal exhaust and a handcrafted interior decorated with fine leathers, carbon fiber and aluminum. Maserati Gran Turismo Folgore Despite Maserati's recent introduction of a groundbreaking in-house developed Natuno engine, the Italian brand is displaying a strict commitment to its electrification strategy. The production version of the Gran Turismo Folgore AK Lightning will take place in 2023, but it has already been spotted testing in camo. The coupe shares exterior styling with the recently launched Grecale SUV. There is the brand's signature grille, elongated headlights, and new wheels. The GT Folgore is expected to ride on an all-new platform that uses Formula E tech and supports 800 volt charging. Rumors also suggest several drivetrain options, making at least 600 and up to 1200 horses. The coupe will get the best-in-class handling and extreme performance parameters, namely 186 mph top speed and 0 to 60 under 3 seconds. Mercedes-AMG GT Track Series The uncompromising platform of the 2022 AMG GT Black Series served as the base vehicle for this track weapon. This 55-unit limited edition earns the title of the most powerful two-door sports car ever conceived by the FL Turbug brand. As before, the car is powered by the 4-liter bi-turbo V8 paired with a 6-speed sequential gearbox from Hewland. However, thanks to the motorsports back fuel injectors and other unspecified tweaks, this mill gains 14 horses and 37 pound-feet, totaling in 734 HP and 627 pound-feet. To harness the added might, this racer features an all-new carbon fiber arrow kit consisting of an exclusive front grille, a modified mechanically adjustable rear wing, and a specially developed high downforce front splitter. The track series is equipped with adjustable 4-way Bilstein dampers, motorsport-grade steel brakes, 15.4 inches front and 14 rear, 12-level racing ABS with traction control, and an FIA-approved roll cage. Ferrari SP48 Unica the FA Tributo was developed as a homage to the powerful V8 history of the brand and the highest expression of the classic two-seater Berlinetta design. In 2023, its look and a non-hybridized rear mid-engine placement could feel rather retro. So, one of Ferrari's most avid collectors requested a one-off commission that would reimagine the model into a 296 GTB lookalike. Ferrari's special projects team introduced a hexagonal pattern that appears throughout the car. The front grille was overhauled with a new honeycomb pattern, the A-pillar was blacked out, and the side air scoop was lowered. In the back, the SP48 Unica gets a beefy diffuser and rectangular lights stretching the width of the car. As for the underhood business, there are no reported changes, so the twin-turbo 3.9-liter V8 still makes 710 horsepower. Toyota GR Corolla 
In Europe, the Corolla hatchback has been offered in the GR Sport modification for some time now. But this model is the first pure Gazoo Racing member of the family. Developed by the GR team in cooperation with the master driver Akio Toyota, the car gets a low center of gravity, model-specific frame reinforcements, and new 18-inch alloys wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4 rubber. Two versions are available, Core and the launch year exclusive Circuit Edition with the carbon fiber elements and a larger rear spoiler. Both rely on the same turbocharged 1.6-liter three-cylinder that is heated up to produce 300 horsepower and 273 pound-feet. This mill is paired with a six-speed intelligent manual as the only transmission option, as well as a rally bred GR4 all-wheel drive. The system has three settings of power distribution, 50-50, front-wheel-based 60-40, and a rear-based 30-70. As for the cabin, the GR treatment includes sport seats, and a new 12.3-inch driver's cluster with GR-specific screens. How do you like this incredible dozen of 2023 sports cars? Have your personal list of favorite models been updated? I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to talk this over. Do not hesitate to smash the like button and subscribe to Automotive Territory if you haven't already. More informative videos with car news are coming your way. As always, may the torque be with you and glory to Ukraine!